Have you ever felt overwhelmed, anxious, or even depressed because of someone in your life? You might be dealing with a narcissist. Narcissists are more than just difficult people. They can be emotionally and psychologically damaging, especially to those who are highly sensitive. If you're a Sigma empath, a person who not only feels emotions deeply, but also tends to operate independently from societal expectations, you might be especially vulnerable. Sigma empaths often find themselves in intense, challenging relationships with narcissists, and the consequences can be severe. In this video, we're going to explore the 10 mental illnesses or conditions that Sigma empaths can develop as a result of their interactions with narcissists. We'll dive into how narcissistic abuse impacts mental health and why understanding these effects is crucial for healing and recovery. Our goal is to raise awareness about these hidden struggles and to provide insight into the mental health challenges faced by those affected. Whether you're currently dealing with a narcissist or have experienced their abuse in the past, understanding these issues can be the first step towards reclaiming your peace and well-being. So, let's get started and uncover the impact of narcissistic abuse on Sigma empaths. Stay tuned to find out how these 10 mental illnesses manifest and what you can do to address them. Number 1. Severe Stress Let's start with severe stress, which is often the first thing Sigma empaths experience when dealing with a narcissist. Imagine you're constantly walking on eggshells, always trying to predict and manage someone else's volatile reactions. That's the reality for many Sigma empaths who are entangled with narcissists. Narcissists have a knack for creating an environment of constant unpredictability. For Sigma empaths who are naturally sensitive and emotionally attuned, this unpredictability is a breeding ground for severe stress. Every interaction with the narcissist feels like a tightrope walk, where even the smallest misstep can lead to emotional upheaval. The daily toll of this stress is profound. It's not just a mental strain, it affects the entire body. Chronic stress can lead to fatigue, headaches, and a weakened immune system. Over time, it can contribute to serious health issues like heart disease and digestive problems. Imagine being in a constant state of high alert, with your body perpetually in fight or flight mode. It's exhausting. Let me give you an example. Picture Lisa, a Sigma empath who works in a high-pressure job. At home, she's dealing with a partner who constantly criticizes her, creating an unstable atmosphere. Lisa finds herself unable to relax, whether at work or at home. Her constant worry and anxiety start to affect her job performance and her physical health. She's struggling with insomnia, has frequent headaches, and feels drained all the time. Her stress levels are through the roof, and it's impacting every aspect of her life. This level of stress is not just about feeling overwhelmed, it's about how it starts to consume your daily existence. Recognizing this pattern is crucial. If you're experiencing similar stress, it's important to seek support and find ways to manage your stress levels. Remember, you don't have to navigate this alone. Number two, sleeping disorders. Next, let's talk about sleeping disorders, which are a common issue for Sigma empaths dealing with narcissists. Imagine lying awake at night, your mind racing with thoughts about the day's conflicts and the constant need to appease the narcissist. This kind of stress can disrupt your sleep, leading to conditions like insomnia or even narcolepsy. Stress and emotional abuse create a perfect storm for sleep problems. When you're constantly on edge, it's hard for your mind to unwind. The constant worry and anxiety can prevent you from falling asleep or staying asleep. Over time, this sleep deprivation starts to affect more than just your rest. The impact of sleep disorders goes beyond just feeling tired. Lack of quality sleep affects your mood, concentration, and overall health. For instance, if you're not getting enough rest, you might find it hard to focus at work or handle daily tasks. This can lead to a decrease in productivity and make you feel even more overwhelmed and irritable. Let's consider Tom's situation. Tom is a Sigma empath who works long hours and faces daily criticism from his narcissistic boss. At night he can't turn off his thoughts, replaying the day's stress over and over. He finds himself staring at the ceiling for hours, unable to fall asleep. This sleep disruption leaves him groggy and unproductive at work, and his overall quality of life starts to deteriorate. 
Tom's experience is a common one for those dealing with narcissistic abuse. If you find yourself struggling with sleep issues, it's important to seek help. Finding ways to manage stress, such as through relaxation techniques or professional support, can help improve your sleep and overall well-being. Number 3. Paranoia Now, let's dive into paranoia, a condition that often develops from the ongoing stress and emotional abuse caused by narcissists. Paranoia involves having intense and irrational fears that someone or something is out to harm you, even when there's no clear evidence. For Sigma empaths, this feeling of being constantly threatened can be especially overwhelming. When you're regularly subjected to manipulative behavior and emotional attacks, it's natural to start feeling suspicious and anxious about your surroundings. The narcissist's constant criticism and deceit can make you doubt yourself and those around you, leaving you feeling vulnerable and unsafe. The impact of paranoia extends long after the abusive relationship ends. Even when the narcissist is out of your life, the fear and mistrust can linger, affecting your interactions with others. You might find yourself second-guessing people's intentions or feeling like you're constantly on guard, making it hard to build new, healthy relationships. Let's look at Emily's experience. After years of dealing with a narcissistic friend who was constantly undermining her and spreading false rumors, Emily began to question the motives of everyone she met. She became overly cautious, worried that others were trying to take advantage of her or talk behind her back. This paranoia made it difficult for her to trust new friends or even enjoy social gatherings. Emily's story shows how paranoia can seep into everyday life, making even normal interactions feel fraught with danger. If you're experiencing similar feelings, remember that it's okay to seek help. Therapy and support groups can provide a safe space to work through these fears and rebuild your trust in others. Number 4. Addiction Now, let's explore how addiction can develop in Sigma empaths who are dealing with narcissists. When someone is caught in a cycle of emotional abuse, they might look for ways to escape or numb their pain. For some, this means turning to substances like alcohol or drugs, or even engaging in compulsive behaviors like excessive work or shopping. This behavior is a way to cope with the overwhelming feelings of sadness, anxiety, or worthlessness that come from being mistreated. It's a temporary escape from the constant emotional turmoil caused by the narcissist. However, these coping mechanisms can quickly spiral into addiction. Addiction often begins as a way to manage or numb the emotional pain, but it can lead to a dangerous cycle. The initial relief from substances or behaviors can be followed by guilt or shame which makes the individual turn back to their coping mechanisms for comfort. This cycle reinforces the addiction, making it even harder to break free. Take Alex's story, for instance. Alex was in a relationship with a narcissistic partner who constantly belittled him. To cope with the pain, he started drinking more frequently. What began as a way to unwind became a daily habit. The more Alex drank, the more his relationship with the narcissist deteriorated, leading to even more emotional stress. His addiction further isolated him, making it even harder for him to escape the toxic environment. Alex's experience shows how addiction can develop from a need to escape the pain of narcissistic abuse. If you find yourself turning to substances or compulsive behaviors to cope, it's important to seek help. Professional support and counseling can provide healthier ways to manage your emotions and break the cycle of addiction. Number 5. Depression Next up is depression, a condition that can deeply affect Sigma empaths who are enduring narcissistic abuse. Depression is more than just feeling sad, it's a persistent state of emotional pain and emptiness that can cloud every aspect of life. For Sigma empaths, this emotional turmoil is often the result of ongoing negativity and emotional abuse. When you're constantly exposed to criticism and manipulation from a narcissist, it's easy to feel like you're trapped in a never-ending cycle of negativity. Over time, this can lead to feelings of hopelessness and despair. Depression makes it hard to find joy or motivation, turning once pleasurable activities into burdens. The impact of depression on an empath's ability to experience happiness is profound. You might find yourself withdrawing from friends and activities you once enjoyed, feeling numb or disconnected. 
It's like being in a fog that dulls your emotions and makes everything seem more difficult and less rewarding. Let's consider Sarah's story. Sarah was in a long-term relationship with a narcissist who constantly criticized her and belittled her accomplishments. Over time, Sarah began to feel a deep sense of worthlessness. She used to love painting, but now her once bright canvases remained blank. Her art supplies gathering dust. Her friends noticed her withdrawing, and she struggled to find the energy to participate in social events she once cherished. Sarah's experience highlights how depression can make even the simplest tasks feel overwhelming. If you're dealing with similar feelings, know that there is help available. Therapy and support from loved ones can make a significant difference in overcoming depression and finding your way back to a place of joy and fulfillment. Number 6. Eating Disorders Next, let's explore eating disorders, which can become a coping mechanism for Sigma empaths who are subjected to narcissistic abuse. Narcissists often use criticism and shaming to manipulate their victims, and this can have a significant impact on eating habits. For some Sigma empaths, dealing with constant emotional abuse can lead to stress eating, using food to comfort or distract themselves from the pain. Others might lose their appetite altogether, finding it difficult to eat due to the overwhelming stress and negative emotions. Both reactions can become serious eating disorders. These eating disorders can take a heavy toll on both physical health and emotional stability. Stress eating can lead to weight gain and related health issues like high blood pressure or diabetes, while a loss of appetite can cause malnutrition and fatigue. Beyond the physical effects, these disorders can further exacerbate feelings of worthlessness and self-loathing. Consider the story of Julia. Julia was in a relationship with a narcissistic partner who constantly criticized her appearance. To cope with the relentless negativity, Julia started stress eating, consuming large amounts of comfort food. Over time, she gained weight, which only fueled her partner's criticism and made her feel even worse. On the flip side, Mark, who experienced similar abuse, lost his appetite and struggled to maintain a healthy weight, which led to severe fatigue and health problems. Julia and Mark's experiences illustrate how eating disorders can develop as a way to cope with the pain of narcissistic abuse. If you're struggling with similar issues, it's important to reach out for help. Professional support, such as counseling and nutrition advice, can provide you with healthier ways to manage stress and restore balance in your life. Number 7. Self-harm. Now, let's address a deeply distressing issue, self-harm. Self-harm is when someone intentionally causes physical harm to themselves as a way to cope with overwhelming emotional pain. For Sigma empaths who are enduring narcissistic abuse, this behavior can sometimes feel like the only way to manage their intense suffering. The emotional pain caused by narcissistic abuse can become so unbearable that self-harm seems like a way to release or control that anguish. It's a physical manifestation of the internal turmoil, a way to deal with feelings of worthlessness, guilt, or sadness. However, self-harm doesn't address the root of the problem. Instead, it adds to the cycle of pain. The impact of self-harm is both psychological and physical. Physically, it can lead to infections, scarring, and long-term damage. Psychologically, it often deepens feelings of shame and isolation. It can also create a false sense of relief which only serves to perpetuate the cycle of abuse and self-harm. Let's look at Emma's situation. Emma had been in a toxic relationship with a narcissist who constantly belittled her. Feeling trapped and unable to escape her emotional pain, Emma began to engage in self-harm each time she hurt herself. It was a temporary distraction from her deeper emotional wounds. Unfortunately, this behavior only added to her sense of guilt and hopelessness. Emma's story highlights how self-harm can feel like a coping mechanism, but ultimately compounds the suffering. If you or someone you know is struggling with self-harm, it's crucial to seek professional help. Therapy and support can provide healthier ways to cope and address the underlying issues, helping to break the cycle of pain. Number 8. Suicidal Tendencies Let's talk about a very serious topic, suicidal tendencies. 
For Sigma empaths trapped in a cycle of narcissistic abuse, suicidal thoughts can become a terrifying reality. When the emotional pain feels relentless and there seems to be no escape, some people may start to see death as a way to end their suffering. Prolonged exposure to narcissistic abuse can erode one's sense of hope and self-worth. The constant manipulation, gaslighting and emotional cruelty can lead to a deep sense of despair. This despair can grow into suicidal thoughts, where ending one's life might seem like the only way to escape the unbearable emotional turmoil. The impact of suicidal tendencies is severe and urgent. These thoughts are not just symptoms of emotional distress, but are signals that immediate help is needed. If you or someone you know is struggling with such thoughts, it's crucial to reach out for support right away. Professional help is available, and there are people who care and want to help you through this dark time. Consider the story of Mike, who had been enduring emotional abuse from a narcissistic partner for years. The constant belittling and manipulation left Mike feeling hopeless and isolated. One day he found himself contemplating ending his life as a way to escape the pain. Fortunately, he reached out to a mental health professional and found the support he needed to navigate his way out of this crisis. Mike's story shows the importance of seeking help. If you're having thoughts of suicide, remember that you don't have to face this alone. There are crisis hotlines, therapists, and support groups ready to help you through these moments. Your life is valuable. And there are people who want to support you in finding hope and healing. Number 9. Anger Issues Now let's dive into anger issues, which can become a significant problem for Sigma empaths enduring narcissistic abuse. When you're constantly subjected to emotional abuse and manipulation, it's natural for feelings of frustration and anger to build up over time. This ongoing abuse creates a lot of pent-up anger. Narcissists often belittle and invalidate their victims, which can make it difficult to process these intense emotions in a healthy way. As a result, Sigma empaths may find themselves feeling irritable and easily provoked. Even in situations that wouldn't normally trigger such strong reactions, the impact of these anger issues can be far-reaching. It's not just about the occasional outburst chronic anger and irritability can strain relationships with friends, family and colleagues. When you're always on edge, it can push people away and make it hard to maintain healthy connections. This constant state of irritation can also take a toll on your overall emotional health, leading to feelings of isolation and further distress. Let's look at Laura's story. Laura had been in a toxic relationship with a narcissistic partner who constantly criticized and manipulated her. Over time, the emotional abuse left Laura feeling angry and irritable. Small annoyances became triggers for explosive reactions, and her relationships with friends and family started to suffer. Her anger also affected her work performance, creating a cycle of frustration and loneliness. Laura's experience shows how anger issues can develop from a background of narcissistic abuse and how they can impact various aspects of life. If you're struggling with anger, it's important to seek help and find constructive ways to manage these emotions. Therapy and support groups can offer valuable tools to help you process your anger healthily and rebuild positive relationships. Number 10. Intense Anxiety Finally, let's talk about intense anxiety, a condition that can deeply affect Sigma empaths living with a narcissist. Intense anxiety is more than just occasional worry, it's a persistent and overwhelming feeling of fear and dread that can feel like it's taking over your life. When you're involved with a narcissist, you're often walking on eggshells, trying to anticipate their needs and avoid their wrath. This constant state of hypervigilance creates an environment of chronic stress and anxiety. You may find yourself obsessively worrying about every word you say or every action you take, all in an effort to keep the narcissist's anger at bay. The impact of this intense anxiety is profound. It can lead to sleep problems, physical health issues, and a general sense of unease that affects every part of your life. You might struggle to focus on tasks, experience panic attacks, or find it hard to enjoy even the simplest moments. The constant worry can wear you down mentally and emotionally, making it difficult to find peace or stability. Consider Jake's story. Jake was in a relationship with a narcissistic partner who was extremely critical and unpredictable. Every day was a new challenge, as Jake felt he had to constantly monitor his behavior to avoid conflict. 
This relentless stress led to severe anxiety. Jake found himself unable to relax, often lying awake at night, overwhelmed by fears of making a mistake or facing the narcissist's wrath. His anxiety grew so intense that it began to affect his work and social life, leaving him feeling isolated and trapped. Jake's experience underscores how living with a narcissist can lead to intense anxiety that affects every aspect of your life. If you're dealing with similar feelings, it's important to reach out for support. Therapy and self-care strategies can help you manage anxiety and work towards reclaiming your peace of mind. As we wrap up today's video, let's quickly recap the 10 mental illnesses that Sigma empaths may face when dealing with narcissistic abuse. We've talked about severe stress, sleeping disorders, paranoia, addiction, depression, eating disorders, self-harm, suicidal tendencies, anger issues, and intense anxiety. Each of these conditions represents a significant challenge, but understanding them is the first step toward healing. If you recognize these symptoms in yourself or someone you know, please remember that there is help available. Don't hesitate to reach out for support, whether it's talking to a mental health professional, joining a support group, or calling a crisis hotline. Seeking help is a courageous step toward recovery. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment sharing your own experiences or questions. Your stories and feedback are important and can help others who might be going through similar struggles. Remember, you're not alone, and there's always hope for a brighter future. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you in the next video. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.